tell you. Fresh, ice cold, purified, filtered well water. Life changing. Life changing. Definitely. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good old mountain water. All right. So, guys. Let me get adjusted here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I actually meant to film this video uh, with this the other day. And as you know, I've been under the, I haven't been under the weather. I've been under devil attack. <laughs> so <laughs> if my legs, hey, if hell feels just a little bit like my legs have been feeling lately, whew, boy, I'm going to tell you what, you better get right with God. You better get right with Jesus, whatever it takes. I'm going to tell you right now, I am doing much better today, but I will tell you, it has been a slow process, but thank you for all the comments. And uh, as James said a little while ago, he said, I promise you, you're looking so much better. It's like, this is the slowest heal I've ever been through, but it's working and everything's going good. And thank you so much for all the kind support. I just appreciate you. So here's the deal. Okay, so I'm ready to make some people mad today because I'm really good at it. And uh, um, I don't think so. I think most of you here are going to be pretty much right on uh, in, in line with me with what I have to say. But first and foremost, let me before I get, um, let me reach over here and get these. So the last week, uh, was it last week? Early last week, I got two books in the mail from... Thank you, um, MD Creekmore. And if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, I will put a link down below. I will actually link the video that I'm talking about because I think it is great. I think it's real talk and um, I kind of like that. I, I think you guys too, there's a lot of channels and a lot of blogs that give great ideas and commentary and suggestions and news. But at the end of the day, you have to kind of sit back and go, okay, they're not wrong, but what are they doing about it? It's not our business to know. So I just pray that they're preparing as they tell you to. Um, proof is always in the pudding. Okay, I mean, proof is in the pudding. If people are actually working the land, gardening, um, you know, really preparing, um, trying to get more physically fit, um, doing better, and all of these things, you're going to see it phys physiologically. You're going you're gonna to see it in their face. You're going to see it in their bodies. Okay, um, you know, this time of year, a person that's actually growing a garden, no matter how covered they are or how covered they are not, um, they should have a farmer tan going on. So that should, you should have, you should look like somebody just whooped you with the sun rays. Okay, it's just part of what happens even at, at your best. So um, he really puts himself out there. He's written some great books. And this particular video that I want to talk about uh, got my attention because, you know, I've been telling you about how I feel like we're living 1860. Now, you can take that a hundred different ways. Uh, what I'm really talking about is I feel like we're living 1860 due to the fact of all of the division. The question comes into play, though, of how divided are we really? They want you to think you're divided. You know, you've got like this little Looney Tune, one, two, five percent, ten percent of the population, and it could be on either extremity, you know, over here and over there, and here's all the rest of us in the mushy middle going, Can, will you shut up? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So uh, you have all of this propaganda, you have all of these things that are messing with everybody's minds, and, you know, he he really goes out on a limb. I don't want to tell you everything in the video because I want you to go watch it, okay? Um, and But what he talked about was how all these individuals, and I, I've, I've seen this talk. I know this talk. I think you do too, of individuals that are just, you know, they talk a lot of talk a lot of talk about how they're just waiting for this and they're just waiting for that and they're just sitting around half cocked, ready for this and ready for that. Um, and then they act and they talk all these politics and they talk all the things and they argue. But at the end of the day, this is my spin on it. At the end of the day, they're not doing jack squat. I'm sorry. I want to know where all the cowboys are. Um, you know, may, maybe I'm missing them somewhere. 
Um, maybe they're just silent. I'm sure some are. And I don't think I'm talking to anybody here, but do you know what I'm talking about? This whole thing of people talking big. Well, when this happens, I'll do this. <clears throat> when this happens, I'll do that. And I have to sit back and, and I have to temper my own self and go, you know, I don't, if, when, when it comes down to the moment of something bad really happening, am I really that prepared? See, this is why I push myself as hard as I try to uh, and try to get something done every day in some realm, even though I'm a, just a little old woman. Um, because I know how naive we all are to, I mean, think about it, guys. None of us have ever really, truly experienced an economic collapse okay? We've not experienced any type of warfare that we can recall really on this land. I mean, we've had incidences that we can speak of over the years, but I mean, to say that you can compare yourself to what your fifth, you know, your, your third great grandfather experienced at 17 years old at Missionary Ridge or at Chickamauga, and we're going to act like we're, you know, Billy Bad Butt today. I'm sorry, if you walk talk, walk around and talk like that, you really kind of do look foolish, um, in my opinion. Um, you know, it, it all depends upon the demeanor and the carry, but <clears throat> I think he hits a very, very solid point in the video, and I want you to watch it, and I just want you to think about it. Don't get offended by it. Think about, am I this person? Do I know these types of people that talk a big game that say, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, you've already missed, missed it, <laughs> right? So I think this is a, um, this is a moment, regardless of who you are, where you live, how prepared you are, whatever's going on in your life, male or female too, g girls too, um, <clears throat> to kind of temper yourself and to go, okay, do, in all honesty, have I tested myself enough? How well can I run? How well can I defend myself? Do I really know how to cook off grid? Do I really know how to do this? Um, do I know enough about basic medications to help myself? See, we're all still learning. We're all still doing. And um, we're all trying to get better every single day. Is every single one of us ever going to be to a point where we are 100% confident in being able to do whatever it takes? I don't know. Um, I doubt it. I mean, you know, I really do try to press people, like I've told you before many, many times. I try to press people to do their genealogy and to research your grandparents, several going back multiple generations if you can, because of the time period in which they lived, the time period that they survived, and all the things that they had to do in order to do so. I mean, do you really feel that you are as hardy of a man as, like I just said, 1861? I mean, I don't know. Am I as hardy of a woman as, you know, I, I as my grandmother was in 1931? I don't think so. I'm not going to give myself that credit. I hope so. I aim for that. But that's a goal. I don't want to be overconfident. But like I said, I want you to check out his video. He has um, a great YouTube channel. And, um, um, he's got several books and he's been so kind to me. There are multi, there are, um, a handful of gentlemen on YouTube, <clears throat> gentlemen, um, that have just been over the last one to two years incredibly kind to me and to my followers and to my channel. And um, they don't put me down because I'm a female with a perspective. Um, they don't. Uh, they don't try to compete. Um, they don't try to um, do any of these things. They, they, they just do their thing on their channel and they share knowledge, share opinions, share information, and really encourage you to prepare. And MD Creekmore is one of those. So I just want to thank him for that. Thank you, sir. Tennessee fella, who would have known? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how would you have ever known? But like I said, I want you to watch the video and I don't want to pull from his content, um, but I do want to sprinkle in my thoughts. But I was sitting there listening to the video going, dang, he just hit on that. He really does because he, he, he points out and saying, you know, all these people say all of these things and they don't realize all of these things have already happened. 
And in order for us to change things, the, the step up value is going to have to be major. I know grown men my age, um, you know, mid to late forties into their fifties and they talk all this crap. They talk this stuff. They're good guys. They are good men. They, they work, they, they, they raise their kids. Um, they, they, they do all the things. Um, but you have to question their naivete when it comes down to, are they really going to hold the line like they say they are? Do they understand? Women too, are you going to be able to hold the line in some capacity to defend yourself, to defend your home, to defend your community? Do you understand the times that we are walking in? We're not just getting poked in the eyeball by a small percentage of people. This is a global agenda. This is a world agenda. Um, you have, you know, everything that you're seeing right now in so many ways is a manipulation, is a lie, and is propaganda. And so it's, you have to be able to try, I do, I try to differentiate what is reality versus what is the lie. And when it comes back to it and I get overwhelmed, I say, Lord, tell me what I need to do today. What do I need to do today? I fall back. I'm telling you right now, this is this, this is the saving grace. I think we're being pushed forth into dealing with 2024 into 2025. We've hear, we hear rumbles of so many things that could happen. And the reality is we're on the brink of so many things. We have to continue to prepare. We have to prepare our bodies. Okay. I don't know about you, but I've dropped my weight. I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm getting back in the game and I'm, and I'm trying so hard to stay as physically fit as I can. I'm trying to make decisions to be as healthy as I can. I'm trying to continue to um, prep my family, speak out, have no fear, become very close, closer every day to God. That's the ultimate survival. But there's a lot of people right now that talk a big game. And when you sit, and I don't say anything to them in person because they're immediately going to become defensive because unfortunately they're going to know what I'm doing. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to a primitive camp, um, 18th century primitive camp. And um, you, I I'm talking, you talk off grid, we're talking off grid. And those are the days that you test yourself with the heat and w cooking on real fire and with men that know how to really make weapons like our grandfathers carried and how to work with them and um, the ways, the old ways. When you put yourself, you drop yourself into that atmosphere, that's where the test begins. The rest is just fluff. That's not negative speak. To me, that is truth. And so I realize I have so many weaknesses. And guys, I'm going to say this before I close it out. <clears throat> I realize what's happened to families and societies over the years. And I understand that, you know, women do want to be respected and we deserve that if we've earned it. People earn respect. Ladies. We need strong men. So let me say this right now. So before the guys, because I always get a guy pop off on me and tell me how bad his relationship with, was with his wife and, and how women have ruined men and all this stuff. You've, well, you get ruined if you allow yourself to be ruined. That goes, either, that goes both ways, okay? But ladies, if you've got a man that is willing to give it all and do it all and defend for you as best he can, we have got to uphold those men. These are the men that led the way in this nation. Those are our grandfathers. Those are my grandfathers. Those are your grandfathers. We have to be those women that doesn't weaken us, that actually strengthen us, strengthens us. And I'm going to plead and I'm going to say, if you're listening to this vi video and you are my guys out there, the women and children of this nation need you. 
I don't care what the news says. I don't care how they try to twist things. I don't care how they try to put you down. That is not what the American woman and the American children need. We need bold, righteous, God-fearing men living in reality, working every day to prepare in all ways. Even if you're doing what is perceived as potentially being a, something a little bit feminine, I think it's sexier than socks on a rooster if a man knows how to use a pressure canner and can hamburger meat, <laughs> okay? All skills matter. But we are depending on you. If no one is telling you, I'm going to tell you. We need you. I have no shame in telling you. We need strong men again. Living in truth, walking in faith, standing up tall, speaking the truth, and that have a backbone. So measure yourself, ladies, measure yourself, and figure out where you are, and figure out quickly how you can continue every day to shake yourself out of feeling like you have everything licked, and you know, you're just going to do this, and you're going to do that. I think we're all going to quickly find out how weakened we have been over the generations and we have to come back from that double time maybe this is wishful thinking but that's what's on my heart today and i still hold these little shreds of hope and i'm going to continue to say it because i love my husband i love you guys i've raised nothing but boys and i want to continue to push the fact that we have to be a strong people together Check out MD Creekmore. He is a lovely gentleman. I'll link the video specifically below. I, like I said, I didn't want to say too much because I don't want to take away from what <clears throat> he says in the video. I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. Um, I got something cutting, cutting my sinuses. Must be all that well water. Um, so, great books. Check out his channel. We have more videos coming your way. And I just want to thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. I want to thank you again for all of your support. Very busy on the farm. The corn is coming in great. Um, tomatoes are doing good. Animals are doing great. We're getting ready for a Father's Day weekend. So all you papa bears out there, stand tall. We need you. Be that papa bear. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next video.